Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek, and today we're reviewing the AdMotor M340 electric trike. Let's check it out. The AdMotor M340 has some major differences compared to several other e-trikes we've tested recently, so let's start by going over the specs real quick and pointing out how the bike is unique. For one thing, it's one of the few fat tire trikes out there, which makes it great for off-roading and riding in areas you wouldn't normally take a narrow-wheeled trike. The front wheel is larger at 24 inches, while the rears are 20 inches and both use 4 inch wide tires. There's also front suspension, which is another rarity in the e-trike space. Between the suspension and fat tires, you can definitely get into more shenanigans than on most trikes. There's also a huge weight rating on this trike, with support for riders of up to 350 pounds. Plus, you can carry another 100 pounds of weight in the baskets. And I love that it comes with both the front and rear baskets as standard equipment, plus that water-resistant liner in the rear basket. There's no upcharge for those, which many e-trike companies will charge you for. Next, on the electrical side, we've got an absolutely massive 48 volt and 20 amp hour battery with 960 watt hours of capacity. It's so much more than anyone needs, but I like to see it there because it means you can go for many rides without having to charge in between. They say it'll give you 85 miles of range in pedal assist level 1, and I believe it since the pedal assist level 1 is so efficient. But even if you're doing throttle only and making use of that wooden platform to rest your feet on instead of pedaling, you'll probably still get a minimum of 45 or 50 miles with reasonable riding. If you're going full power, you might get a tad less, but you'll still get more range than just about any other e-trike out there. Speaking of power though, this thing has enough to spare. That's a 750 watt motor up front and it's got 80 newton meters of torque, which is an insane amount of torque to put into a front wheel drive trike. Now it's fun having a powerful motor with a lot of torque, and surely it's great for climbing hills, but one issue on a trike like this where you have most of the weight on the back is traction. That means that with this really torquey motor, sometimes you peel out, and you get into a situation where it's like, oh hey, I'm super excited to go on a nice relaxing cruise today, let me just grab some throttle. Rounding out the other interesting components and parts I like to see is a full LED light package, including turn signals, and the inclusion of a 7-speed shifter, so you can actually decide what pedal cadence you want to have, unlike most of the single-speed trikes out there. Now the downside with this 7-speed setup is that there's this uvula-style derailleur hanging down in the middle of the rear end. It just looks so vulnerable there. Now to be fair, I rode through a lot of tall grass and I did not have an issue with it, but still, it just looks like it's asking for trouble there if you ever hit an obstacle on it. Next, I would have loved to have seen hydraulic disc brakes here, especially since it's a heavy bike rated for heavy loads. Plus, it would be a nice low maintenance solution, which would be good for older folks who probably don't want to get down on their knees and adjust three different brake cables very often. The lack of a parking brake is also a bummer here, since a mechanical setup like this is perfect for including a parking brake. Next, keeping with the things that I wasn't a big fan of, the center of gravity is quite high on this trike, and so it definitely felt tippier to me than other e-trikes I've tried. The larger wheels, fatter tires, and general design of the frame that puts the rider up higher means that in turns you've really got to slow down and not take them too fast so you don't tip over. With a 20 mile per hour speed limit, you could certainly get yourself into trouble here, so keep that in mind. This is a fast and powerful trike, and you need to go easy, especially in the turns, and especially if you're new to trikes in general. Now the last downside here is just the price. At a current sale price of 2,999 bucks, this thing is around twice the price of the $1,500 budget trikes on the market. Does it offer twice as much? Well, I definitely enjoy the power, the big battery, and the ability to ride off-road. In fact, it feels so good off-road that I almost forget that I'm on a trike. Well, at least when I'm riding in a straight line. But the bang for your buck certainly is not there, compared to more wallet-friendly alternatives. 
I think the Admotor M340 is thus best suited for someone who really wants to take advantage of the fat tires and the suspension that this trike offers, because the rest of the trike just doesn't seem to have the same value proposition compared to the budget models. But if you live in the boonies or just generally like to ride on trails, this is definitely going to give you a better ride than smaller wheeled non-suspension trikes. So like most e-bikes, whether or not it is worth it ultimately comes down to what you want to do with it. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review of the Admotor M340 electric trike. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time. You would have told me your mom was coming. I would have worn my finest clothes. I'm just a poor boy. I ain't got nothing. But I got love, babe. I know. So if you ever need me, Honey, just call me. I waste no time, man. I come straight to you. All the river's wide, dear, and the road is muddy. Even if I gotta swim, man.